people across the tri-state and around the country are honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. New this morning, Nine in Your Size, Lisa Smith looks at the special connection he had to Cincinnati. Inside the offices of the Cincinnati Herald, some yellowed, others vivid images of the connection between the Queen City and the man named King. He visited Cincinnati several times. Dan Yelp with the Cincinnati Herald says several Cincinnatians held strong connections with Martin Luther King, of course Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth, but also Louise Shropshire and her family. When Dr. King was in her home one night visiting with the family after dinner, she sat down at the piano and played this song. The song was called If My Jesus Wills, but King asked her to change a few words. We shall overcome. And it became, of course, we shall overcome. There's much more that we can do in pooling our economic resources. All of these things are absolutely necessary. King made several visits to Mount Zion Baptist Church in Avondale. Reverend L.V. Booth was another close friend, but even today, the families are friends. My dad talked about how when he came after preaching a soul-stirring message, he was out uh, on the, on the, in the parking lot playing basketball with the neighborhood boys. It's safe to say that Martin Luther King had an impact on the Cincinnati area, but Reverend Booth believes that some of those issues he was fighting for back then are still relevant today. We've got to work to make sure that there's economic uh, opportunity for all. Lisa Smith, nine on your side. Lisa, thank you. This, this year is the 50th anniversary of King's assassination.